friends, um, I wanted to jump on here real quick and give a little update. Um, the top doc both doctor's offices, um, we've got everything together except for the um, de uh, time of my reconstruction surgery on the 8th. Um, obviously, I go see the, re uh, the surgeon for reconstruction on the 7th. I have the no surgery on the 8th. Um, and then... Um, I have the reconstruction surgery on the night. Sorry, had a brain fart. Um, I, uh, they're gonna if if he doesn't tell me on Monday um, what time, then they'll call me uh, the day of my no surgery and um, let me know. But since I won't be having Mo surgery and I could be in there and I'm going to use my headphones and stuff, um, of course they'll be attached to my uh, phone. I'm just going to have all my calls forwarded to my husband's phone. Um, super easy to do. So, um, and they don't want to leave a message. They want to actually talk to somebody. So that way, if I'm back there, um, it won't ring or anything like that. It'll go directly to my husband's phone and he can jot everything down that they need, um, that we need to know. Um, a lot has happened, um, I'm super emotional, uh, because it's, it's getting closer to, um, everything beginning, you know, and, um, and I, I know people try to help you know, help and, you know, and I, uh, again, I want to be able to express, you know, if I'm scared, if I'm, you know, if I'm having anxiety, if I'm a little depressed about, you know, that kind of thing, if I want to cry about it. I mean, my reaction is, and my videos are nothing like other people's videos are. Um, I mean, they are, if anything, I'm subdued in kind of weirdly subdued in, in my reaction to it and um, but that's because I'm keeping it on the inside and that's not healthy I mean that's just you know that's again that's something I've tried over the years through therapy and medication all kind of stuff to not do because it will drive you crazy and will cause massive anxiety um, and things like that and so um, I know people mean well but when they say, you know, don't get upset, don't get upset, don't, you shouldn't be afraid, you know, free, afraid, everything's going to be fine, everything's going to be fine. Well, I have no doubt that in the end, everything will be fine, or at least, um, you know, I have faith that it will be, um, if, it, if it's God's will, it will be. But that still doesn't mean that I'm not afraid, and I should be able to say that, I should be able to cry. I mean, I just want to go somewhere and scream. That is what I want to do. I want to go somewhere in the middle of a field in the backwoods of Alabama and I want to scream and just get it all out because it's it's coming out in little spurts that are not healthy and it's not enough you know and um, and to top it off I have to go today and put one of my dogs down he has diabetes he's been real sick and we took him to the vet this morning and, and they recommended that we put him down because he's an outside dog. He's, um, they said he would be constantly sick, you know, um, that, I mean, not even the medical bills. They said it'd be gigantic medical bills, but not even that. I mean, it, you know what I mean? That wouldn't matter. It's the fact that he would be sick. He wouldn't, he wouldn't have a very normal life. There's no way to really check a dog's blood, blood sugar. So the he would have to take two shots a day and um you know and it they just said that it wouldn't be a, a very good life which is funny um being a diabetic myself how ironic is that but um but I don't want him to suffer and so I'm gonna go do that but see that's just it's like everything's happening at once you know and then my blood sugars are horrible I mean just horrible and then my G6 keeps messing up I mean I still love it but it's because my blood sugars are just so 
can't up and down, up and down, so brittle, it can't keep up, but it is like way off, like one day it said it was like 58 and dropping, and I was like, I don't feel like it's 58, you know, I'm not sweaty, I'm not nervous, shaking, you know, ill as a damn hornet, and um, that kind of thing, so I went and checked my blood sugar, and it was 128, I mean, that is a far damn cry, you know, um, but that's why I always say calibrate. Please calibrate at least twice a week. Um, especially if you're super brutal and you, you're noticing that your blood sugars are really like, nah, you need to calibrate. Um, not every day, but you know, every couple of days or one, twice a week or something. Um, and also too, please wear sunscreen. Please, please, please wear sunscreen. I cannot stress that enough. Um, and even if you um, have dark skin, um, you know, you can still get can skin cancer. Uh, skin cancer, just because you have dark skin does not mean that it will not, um, that you can't get it. Uh, sunscreen's for everybody. Everybody, please put it on. I don't care if you... I used to tan and never burn. I mean, I, I have been burnt before, but I mean, I used to tan. I mean, you can't tell now because I look, you know, super white. I mean, very easy. And I still could tan very easy, but um, I can almost tell you when this happened because I got super burnt. Like, and after I had my son, I always say he sucked the, not only did he suck the intelligence out of me, he sucked the color out of me. So, um, because I just, all of a sudden, just, just white. I mean, like, white. usually I always had some kind of taint, you know, some kind of color. Um, but, I mean, white is a color, but you know what I mean. Um, but, uh, so I think I just, that's what my body changed, and I became a lot more susceptible to the sun. Um, but, and don't just wear, sun, I mean, you need to wear a broad spectrum sunscreen sunblock or whatever and if all possible you need to put zinc on your face i mean seriously who cares what it looks like um you don't want cancer and have to have parts of your face removed and have reconstruction surgery i'm just telling you just i'm i'm being quite honest with you um so i just i'm begging y'all check your blood sugars um, be as vigilant as you can. I know sometimes it's very tiring. It's annoying. It's depressing. Um, but please, please do it as best you can. And I know sometimes we all fail um, at doing that because, I mean, the, your whole life, your whole life you have to do that. You're constantly dealing with it. It's not like you have a reprieve or anything like that. Um, you know, type 1 diabetics. And I've said that before, type 1 diabetics are 50 to 60% more likely to come down with severe depression um, because of it's a chronic illness that not even, and I have fibromyalgia, but not even like fibromyalgia, at least I get a break from fibromyalgia, you know? Lots of times I, I'm fine, you know, until I have a flare-up or something, but uh, but with diabetes, it's, it's every minute of every day. Um, you know, so, but, uh, so just, just know you're not alone. My journey may be different than your journey, but, um, you're not alone. And I know how it feels. Um, it's hard. It's depressing. Um, nobody understands. And sometimes other diabetics do not understand because all diabetics are different because all people are different and all bodies are different and how we react to things are completely different. So what, works for one diabetic may not work for another i mean i had one diabetic go i don't know what you're talking about no i don't i, I mean that's not possible and i'm like mm, it's very much possible you know you're you're really lucky and i'm glad that your blood sugars are great but i mean don't just because you've never been brittle doesn't mean it doesn't happen you know so um you know just, just be very vigilant, and please be vigilant with wearing sunscreen and with your kids. And again, just because you have dark pigment does not make you any less susceptible to skin cancer. S sunscreen and sunblock are for everybody.
everybody, not just people who are light-skinned. So please take that into consideration. Okay? Um, I will be back again with, I guess, another little update, especially this weekend um, and definitely Monday. Um you know, which is before my Mo surgery, so, but, uh, we're having a fish fry this weekend, um, and hopefully that'll take my mind off of it, because nothing really has been able to, um, in the past few days, I've been having phone calls out the yin-yang, three or four a day from the doctor's offices, like, reminding me of stuff, just, so, I mean, I haven't been able to not think about it, and last night I had a little anxiety attack, and, you know, and they're, they're, I haven't had anxiety attacks in a while, okay, and they're, com I mean, like, I'm starting to have several a day. Um, so, it's, it, it's a problem, you know. But, uh, but that's one thing is, is because I'm holding it in. So, um, I mean, I'm sure I'd have anxiety, but not an anxiety attack. If, you know, if I expressed my true feelings about it, I'm going to try to do that. I don't want to lie to anybody about it. I mean, I'm telling you how I feel. I may not be showing it exactly you know um because a lot of times i'll just burst into tears cry have a moment and then while well, I, I i won't be able to cry you know what i'm saying which is great because i've gotten it out but i just again would love to go somewhere and just scream my head off and cuss and make up damn cuss words you know cuss like a damn dot worker you know um because my husband always says you know you look like a debutante but you talk like a dot worker <laughs> It's so funny he's always said that, which I mean, I don't, I mean, I do cut, I love Jesus, but I cuss a little, um, but I'm not like that bad, but I would love to go to a field and cuss like that, okay? I just would. So, but uh, anyway, again, y'all stay type one strong, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.